Hi, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. In this video, I would like to walk you through and demonstrate the audio recording capabilities built into SDR Connect. SDR Connect records the modulated audio. This is the audio that you hear on your speakers. SDR Connect can record audio from a selected VRX and a multi VRX setup, and SDR Connect can also record audio when connected to an SDR Connect server located halfway around the world. The recording features of the SDR Connect recorder are a visual VU recording graph level meter displaying the recorded file information, multi VRX selection, and applying squelch for gapless recording. I will explain all of these features one by one and demonstrate them towards the end of this video. Let's get started. Recording module functions and features. On the audio recorder, we have two icons on its toolbar, a BU meter and a recording information box. To start and stop a recording, click the circle icon on the toolbar. To adjust options of the recorder, click the double gear icon. Recorder settings are outlined in the next section of this video. The visual VU meter is an active display bar graph representing the input signal level going into the recorder. The signal level is adjusted via the volume slider shown on the selected spectrum or SP toolbar. This will either be the primary SP toolbar or the VRX's spectrum toolbar. Selection is made via the recorder settings. I will show this later in the video. File information. An active recording will show relevant information on the main display of the recorder. The information shown is source, file, duration, and size. Source displays the selected instance. If you're recording with multiple VRXs, your selected VRX for recording will be displayed. File displays the recorded file name. Information is separated in the snake case. The file name will have the following information. The word SDR Connect, so you know it's a recording made by SDR Connect, separated by the date, in year month date format, separated with the time of the recording, and finally the frequency of the recording shown in Hertz. Recordings are in WAV format and stored in My Documents. Duration shows the time elapsed in an active recording and the size will show the current size of the recording in megabytes. Let's dig a little deeper. Clicking the double gear icon on the top recording panel toolbar will display a recording configuration box. Within this box, you have the following user options, source and use squelch. Source will show the current spectrum source selected for recording. If you have added VRXs, you can select which VRX will be recorded by choosing it in the drop-down selection. Use squelch. Using the squelch for a recording allows you to record a gapless box recording. This will reduce the file size of the recording as well as not record noise in between transmissions. I will now demonstrate the SDR Connect recorder. I will monitor two frequencies with an added VRX. I will set the squelch for both. I will actively record one frequency while still monitoring the second. This demonstration will take place in the civil aviation band. I will now demonstrate the SDR Connect recorder. I will monitor two frequencies in a dual VRX setup. I will set the squelch for both. I will actively record one frequency in the top VRX while still monitoring the second frequency in the second VRX. This demonstration will take place in the civil aviation band. Flight four fifty seven is two zero three climbing to two three zero. Flight four five seven is two zero five climbing to two three zero. Climb maintain three zero five four fifty seven. Thanks for the report. Chipley nineteen zero two climbing through sixteen point seven for two three zero direct easy.
I hope you have found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments related to this video, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll see you in the next one. 7-3.